Tony is really furious with whatever he has heard about the Oloris behind the past few days. Because at this moment, he is trying to cement things with him and Queen Naomi. But still, there are still a lot of problems. There are still a lot of things going on. And he has always realized that no matter what exactly he will plan to do, no matter what exactly we go on in his life, he needs to show this Oloris who exactly is boss inside of the palace of Ileife. And if that alone is not enough, he needs to show them that whatsoever they do, he has an ultimate say inside of that palace of Ileife. So if they are planning on doing too many things against him and his um, and Queen Naomi, they should all know that there will be all punishments for anybody that disobeys the rule that he wants. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV, where we'll bring you top gist from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Toby Phillips is filled with so much joy because now, she is not going to be left alone wherever she is. And at this point, she has already realized that things have been working hand in hand with between the Oloris and also with Queen Naomi. And now Oni has already told them that yes, this their apartment that they have left dormant for almost how many months now? That that is the time that they have to leave. Oni now has told every single one of them that yes, that apartment that they have left, they are going to go back into the Olo quarters. And this time, it is not going to be as easy as they have pictured it. Because now, he is going to make the rules guiding that place too much that he himself cannot even comprehend. He himself cannot even come into that question and say, yes, this is what exactly I want to do. But at this point, he has seen the rules guiding the Olo he has seen that the Oloris have bent the rules so many times. And now he's looking on to Olori Miriam because she herself is meant to be in charge of whatever is going on. But at this moment where she finds herself in, she needs to realize, she needs to come to that sort of conclusion that whatsoever may happen, whatsoever may go on, she is always in charge. So the blame has to come fully on her. And Olori Miriam is the one in charge of all these things. That is what is making me so angry. As a first wife, you are meant to stand out from whatever they will do. From whatever things that the Oloris will do and tell them that, yes, this is not the correct thing. This is what exactly you need to do. But no, it is a different case for Olori Miriam. Because right at this point where she finds herself in, she needs to ensure that whatsoever, whatsoever may be going on, the Oloris must be safe. The Oloris must always follow the rules. But now, look at her. She's even the one bending the rules so that she can fit in it. So what exactly is the, is the role that she's playing inside of the palace of Ilefe? There is even nothing at all. There is nothing that she has put her hands in that has come out pretty good, like Oni has said. And now, Toby Phillips is really happy because now eh, all of them are going to come into the palace. So when, when, when they come outside of the palace, then they are going to stay with Toby Phillips wherever she is. Because at this moment, eh, Toby Phillips is already crying. Oh, she's bored. She has not seen all the Oloris. She has not done this. She has not done that. But now is the opportunity for her to see her. Oni has given her that sort of opportunity. Oni has showed her that, see, this is the way the things work inside the palace now. If you disobey me or you do anything that is not even needed in the palace, then you have to make your way outside of it without any question. Without anybody coming in and pleading for you, because at this moment where you find yourself in, it is better you make some choices that are going to be better for you instead of going ahead and making other things that will not even benefit you one single bit. But as you may see, it, they are the Oloris. So do you have to blame them? No, you have to just go with the flow as Olori Miriam has said, because that has been the only thing that has kept her inside the palace. That if at all she doesn't go with the flow, then somebody in the palace is going to reveal her secrets. And that is going to cause a whole lot of drama, a whole lot of problems in her life. So she is just planning to continue with whatever these Oloris are doing. So at this point where she definitely finds herself in, she is trying to mingle with every single person to let them know that whatsoever she may be doing, whatsoever she may continue to do, she needs to realize 
that these things are already crossing the boundaries for Oni. And Oni now has set a border for them. And if at all they definitely cross that border, it is going to be a whole lot of different kind of feeling for them. Because at this moment where she actually finds herself in, if at all she doesn't respect herself like the way she is meant to, then that is when she is going to know that the wrath of Oni is more than whatever this Oloris can even comprehend. So at this point where Oni is finding himself in, whether the Oloris are happy about it or not, Oni is trying to do his work from the beginning to the end. Oni is trying to do the things he knows how to do best. So at this point, whether they are happy about it or not, whether they are sad about it or not, Oni is still trying to put every single thing together, piece one or two patches together to ensure, to just come to that sort of conclusion that yes, this is what he can do to make all of these Oloris understand. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to drop your comment down at the comment section. Goodbye, y'all.